Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to deploy Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Hyperviso. First, you need to install the VMware Workstation in Red Hat 7. After installing the VMware Workstation, we can see how to deploy a new node. Now, open the VMware Workstation. For deploying a new node, you have to download the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Hyperviso from the Red Hat official site. I have already downloaded the ISO from the Red Hat official site. Now open the VMware workstation and now we can create a new virtual machine. We can install the hypervisor in a virtual environment. Now select the create a new virtual machine, give custom and give next and select the work workstation as 11 and give next. Now select I will install the operating operating system data and give next and select the other and in other you can select the version as 64 bit and give next. Now give the name for the virtual machine. I am giving hyperiso and select the location and give next and select the processor and the cores and give next and now you need to allocate the memory for this virtual machine. I am giving 4 GB for this. Give next and select the network connection as bridged and give next. And the IO controller type is SAS. Give next. The virtual disk type you can select the SKC and give next. And you need to create a new virtual hard disk for this. So select the create a new virtual hard disk and give next and select the store virtual disk as a single file and give the size for the virtual hard disk I am giving 25 GB and give next and if you want to change the name of the disk file you can change here and give next now select the customized hardware and in the processor you need to select the virtualized Intel VT and virtualized CPU performance counter and in the CD or DVD, you need to select the use ISO image and browse and select the ISO file of the hyperizer and give open. Now give close and select finish. And now give close. And before powering on the virtual machine, you need to edit the VMX file of the virtual machine. Now click home and go to the VMware directory and select the virtual machine folder you need to edit the .vmx file of the virtual machine right click and give open with gedit and at the last you need to add two lines it is vcpu dot hot add equal to double quotes false and close the double quotes and in the next line, you need to add apic dot x apic dot enable equal to double quotes false. Now save the file and close it. Now we can start the virtual machine. Now give start up this guest operating system. Now give tab. Again give tab to edit the option. You need to remove this quiet word and give enter now it is booted now we can give install hyperizer 6.7 now select the keyboard layout and you need to select the disk that you need to install the red dot hyperizer and after selecting this give continue you can give this default partition you no need to change any partitions here just give continue and now give confirm now we need to set the password for the admin user. Now enter the password and confirm the password. Now give install. Now it is installing the hyperizer. This will take some time. Now the installation is completed. Now give reboot. Now the system is booted. Now give the login. The login username is admin. Now give enter. Now enter the password for the admin user. I give enter. Now the hyperizer is successfully installed. Now we need to configure it. Now go to the network and 
press the right arrow now change the host name we need to give the host name of the management system the management system's host name is Linux help 2.com the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager is already installed and the host name for the system is Linux help 2.com now give the DNS server 192.168.7.1 I'm giving the gateway as the DNS server now we need to configure the network adapter now give enter and give close now give enter to configure the adapter now the boot protocol is static now enter the IP address that is 192.168.7.228 and now the net mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway is 192.168.7.1 and after giving the information now give save now the changes are applied now give close now we need to go to security module and you need to enable the SSH now give space to enable the SSH password enable this and give save now the changes are made and give close now go to the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Manager configuration and click the right arrow now give the IP of the management server it is 192.168.7.232 now give save and register now we can see the fingerprint now accept this now all the changes are applied now give close now open the browser and the new tab now we give the IP of the management system that is 192.168.7.232 now select the administrative portal now enter the username and password the username is admin now the password now click login now select the host now we can see the new node is added is it successfully registered you can see the IP that is given 7.228 the new node is successfully registered to the management tool the Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization Hypervisor is successfully installed and we saw how to deploy a new node in this thank you for watching